um, we were allowed to uh, continue to get money back by the amount of time we spent. So for next year, we uh, uh, take a forward plan which um, says that we need some money to pay the sector more. So we're facing a 1% growth in terms of the uh, uh, obligation to take account of actual costs within the sector. So we're going to pay money to get more in place. But we're actually saying that we want to reduce the amount of spend in the sector. Challenging performance indicator than the final uh, Why why would I do that? The reason I'd do that is because we're trying to affect cultural change here. But at the same time, what I don't want to get is into a situation where people who really need this type of support don't get it or we use other um, less appropriate methods in order to take the to take the cost down in the sector. I mean what I don't want to do is have waiting. Certainly, other than hospital referrals, all, all hospital referrals are um, referred to us directly into the integrated discharge team. So all of those people get a social worker uh, or uh, the very a nurse that's uh, assessed their needs. And those that are referred to <coughs> social care always get social worker services. In terms of people in their own homes, um, there are a number of responses. So um, what happens is when someone's referred and referred into um, our um, council wide um, system in terms of uh, our, our, our call centre model, there's a decision then based on the level of risk to the individual as to whether they require an assessment of need, whether they require signposting to somebody else, or um, whether in fact uh, it's a safeguard issue and need a response. You know, That's a, it's sexual advice and duty team is that service, and what we have is we have qualified social workers as part of the CAT. And in essence, that telephone or that referral um, will involve a conversation with the person. It's important to recognise that we deal with a whole range of things from someone saying, I haven't been able to get the pension this week, to you know, my next door neighbour who had screaming next door, I'm aware of the and all this happened to them. So what we do is we filter out in terms of, um, um, I suppose, the level of risk of our condition at that stage right at the CAT, what the appropriate response is. As I say, for, for many people that will be a social worker. For some people it's a same day response, for other people it's, a, it's not a same day response. And for some other people it'll be actually need to hear from a shop or some, some other time. But you have that happens as part of the part of the conversation in that process. As I said, the hospital is different. So a lot of reasons. We would never, we would never admit anyone into a residential care home on the basis of the telephone conversation that should all have full assessment need and that uh, should be maintained by the social worker. Yeah, just
I'm just concerned about the big onslaught of testing projects. Um, how is that going to be taken as a risk? But also, I'm very, very concerned about the test of the issues and how you can take into the test of what are you doing to um, be, uh, make people aware of the test?